Experts at a two-day workshop organized by the Ministry of Transport and Blue Economy in conjunction with anti-graft agencies have emphasized the need for civil servants to exhibit professionalism and entrench the value of honesty and integrity in the discharge of their duties. Vivian is here if he tells us more. The thing uprooting corruption and promoting honesty and integrity. The program is designed to reposition the civil service for better performance and to awaken the consciousness of civil servants to accelerate the greater part of them, which is integrity. The Ministry of Transportation, which is the lifeline of any economy, is the first to implement the anti-corruption and ethical practices and has introduced the new performance management system designed to ensure the effective appraisal of staff performance with a view to enhancing productivity and ensuring code of service delivery. We need to make sure that they help us to guide against corrupt practices and some of their mandates is to prevent corruption through system study and review, sensitize and enlighten the public servants on and against corruption as we are doing today promote ethics and ensure compliance with ethical codes and integrity. Despite the legal frameworks and institutions set up to combat corruption, corruption has continued to grow. Since legal reforms are insufficient without capacity to implement or enforce them, such as the ability to effectively investigate, prosecute and adjudicate crimes, the anti to achieve success in the fight against corruption, speakers call for attitudinal change and the entrenchment of transparency in public service. Act 2. The ministry's support to the Act 2 and its compliance rating is perceived as a testament to the management receptiveness to adopting practical initiatives in fighting corruption within the ministry. While calling on the parastatus under the ministry and other MDAs, to emulate this receptiveness, management is encouraged to continue to strive towards adopting and displaying anti-corruption strategies in its operations. Corruption in public service, there is a noticeable negative impact of corruption on the social, economic and political life of Nigeria. Resulting from what? Instability, erosion of cherished cultural values, economic distortion and underdevelopment. They however advise public servants to avoid personal gratification and always put public interest first. 